guys, Rose here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about skin prep for our makeup. So this is basically my daytime skincare routine as well, but you guys are always asking me when I start my IG stories every day, how is your skin so glowy? What do you put on your face? So it is just my skincare, but I'm going to show you a few of the tools and techniques that I use before. So if you want to see how to get glowy skin and prep your face for makeup, just keep watching. So let's just say I wash my face, I'm getting ready for the day, I'll tag the face wash I'm using currently below. I love that one, but just remember, I'm always using new products, I'm not stuck on that one, but I will show you what I used. So the first step after washing my face, and I always highly recommend cleansing your face. That doesn't mean we have to get in and scrub in the morning, doesn't mean we have to use our harshest cleanser, but we do want to wash away all the impurities from sleeping, all that. And normally I use a sleep mask at night, so I wanna get all that off as well. So my face is cleansed. The next step, I'm gonna grab this Fourth Ray Mellow Milk. I love, love, love this one. I've been using this one forever. I don't even know how many bottles I've used. It's just very calming. And when we're gonna apply our makeup, we want our skin to be as calm and not red as possible. So I highly recommend this. So what I'll do is I'll just go one, two, three and we're gonna let that sink in. Now, a really big tip is letting all of these products do their job, and that takes time. My skincare routine does take quite a while, even in the daytime, but you really have to let those products sink in. That way, they can actually do what they're supposed to do. So we're gonna let this completely dry, and that's usually about 60 seconds. It's been about 60 seconds now. You can already see my skin has more luminosity. It's already looking more hydrated, more glowy, and it's even taking the little bit of redness out of my cheeks. So next step, we're gonna move on to serums. Now we're gonna grab our Anissa All Over Care Brush. I am not sure what I was doing before my Anissa Protect Brushes. What was I doing? Just slathering this on with my hands like a maniac? It was some rough times back then, rough, rough times. So I like to mix my serums here on the brush, and I'm gonna grab this Bosha Vitamin B12 Hydration Booster Serum. I've been using this now for a couple of weeks, and I'm loving, loving, loving it. In fact, you guys have been asking why I'm extra dewy. This is it. So we're just gonna do a little shot on here. Then I'm gonna grab this turmeric face milk from Fourth Ray. I actually have a discount code with Fourth Ray, that code is ROSE. You know that they are ColourPop, basically. And I absolutely love this. I just feel like it's very calming on the skin. And remember, we always want to calm our skin. I even have normal skin, and I just want it to be as calm as possible before I put makeup on it. So I'm just gonna grab this, and I'm gonna do two drops on here. So now, remember, we already have two serums on our brush. So now we're just going to work this into the skin. I will kind of just do even strokes here on my cheeks first, and then from there I'll go to the rest of my face and I'll work it in. I'm kind of mixing them together on the brush as I do this, but I do want you to notice that I am always going upwards. Always trying to cheek grab it here. We're even gonna go upwards on the neck as well. already see such glowiness now look at that and remember we're gonna let this sink in once we're done here let it sink in for at least a minute now this has been my favorite moisturizer now for about a year I love it I think this is my third jar I you guys know I get sent so many things and I try so many things, but this one has honestly just, it stayed. It stayed one of my favorites. This is the Bosha Cactus Water Moisturizer. I, one of, another reason I really love this one is I'm gonna say it's good for all skin types. Oily, normal, combination. It's just so hydrating, yet so lightweight. So I like to just grab the end of my brush here and I'll just scoop out a little bit about right and then I'll just kind of place this on my face and if I have too much on my brush here we just go right back in and just clean off our brush and then don't forget the neck and the chest. Now we're just going to take our brush and we're going to do the same motions just work in the moisturizer. You can already see our skin looks so hydrated. And down 
chest and I'm not going to take this underneath my eyes we're going to do our eye serum underneath there okay so normally I would be using my time in a bottle face serum as well but I'm out but I do have the one for my eyes and I actually love this one because it's a serum so it's not heavy. I have Milia through here and I feel that this just doesn't agitate it. So we're just gonna do a half a pump on here. You just don't need that much. I feel like a whole pump out of this is pretty aggressive. So it's gonna last you a while. Love, love, love it. And I'm gonna grab it on my Anissa eye treatment brush and I'm just going to go very lightly. In fact, I'm gonna to remember to hold my brush very far back. That's just going to give us lighter pressure around the eye, which is definitely what we want. And we're just gonna press this very lightly underneath our eye. Make sure we go out this way. And we're gonna go across the lid as well. Just be very delicate with this area. Now I'm gonna grab this Fourth Ray Rose Quartz Roller, and I keep this in my freezer actually. So we're just going to roll upwards with this. This just kind of works everything in. It's very cold, it's very depuffing, and it's just gonna make our skin look extra glowy. Notice that I'm going upwards through here, and then this end is meant for around your eyes, but what I like to do is a little bit of lymphatic drainage here. So I'll take it around there and then down. I swear this works wonders. I've been doing this since I was like 14. I read this in a magazine and I've been doing it ever since. And then we'll even go down this way as well. I'm gonna grab my Kylie Skin Lip Balm. Love this lip balm. Look at this. Oof, we've used a lot of it. It actually lasts forever as well. And I always like to do this before I start my makeup. That way it has time to sink in. So I do my lip balm right when I sit down at my vanity. So I just scooped it out with the back of this brush. And I'm actually gonna use this brush to apply it. I don't know why I haven't been doing this. I just kind of came up with it. It's kind of perfect, hands free. This is the spot treatment brush from Anissa Beauty. Don't forget my code ROSE works on these brushes as well. That looks about right. All right guys, this is how I prep my skin. Before I do my makeup, I'm actually about to go do a story tutorial right now. So this is exactly what I would do every single day. This is my skincare routine, makeup prep, everything. I do want you guys to know this is key. Water is key. I drink about three of these every single day. I know we hear it. I know we talk about it. Blah, blah, blah. Water. Honestly, it's a huge factor in why my skin looks like this. Also, keep in mind my genetics as well. I also want to state one more time, I have normal skin and keep that in mind. I will say this one right here is definitely for all skin types. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you like these skincare tutorials, if you want to know more about my favorite masks, what you would like to see here about skincare. I love you all so much. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next tutorial.